Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Bless and welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make this very short and sweet. This is a gameplay that I want to share with you guys when it comes to how to play Warzone solos or any mode for that matter, actually. Um, you guys are going to see this entire gameplay from start to finish. We didn't really cut this video because I wanted to give you guys the entire breakdown of what I'm thinking and what I'm wanting to do, strategizing when I'm playing solos or just whatever. But I know a lot of people have been struggling playing Warzone lately and trying to get the wins and high kills and all that whatnot. But uh, my biggest tip, honestly, you kind of want to eliminate one of those play styles from your head, whether you care about the wins or the high kills or the high kills and the win. But for me, though, I rather play for positioning because, you know, key to the like the key to win in this game, in my personal opinion, is getting positioning over, you know, high performances, high high kill games and stuff like that. So. You know, hey, high advantages means wins, right? Anyways, I'm, I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch this video. I appreciate you guys. Though. If you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure y'all uh, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Your boy has passed over 7,000 subs on this channel. Here, cheers to 7,000 more in the future. But hey, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love. Peace. Uh, the only way to get we get better is by playing the kind of your kind of lobbies, LOL. You be getting your butt handed to me, but I still have a good time. See, that's that's the thing, Abel. I uh, I want to have a good time, even though I'm gonna get my tail handed to me, which I have, which I'm learning from my mistakes. So I'm just, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just going to uh, just play how I play and not worry about kills, like splitting from the group and type of like. I don't know. I can't play with people who just you know. Let's say my teammate is like. I'm over here and he's over here trying to be Johnny Badass and get all these kills and shit. Like, I don't know how people can do that. All right, this guy's clearly not gonna push me, which I was expecting him to, but. Here, a loadout crate below me, so I'm low key gonna go and try to find that. This is our boy that just did his stronghold, so that's good. All right, we're, we're good, pretty much. All right. So I took his perks. I got my guns. I wanted my guns. Striker 9 was able to outgun a swarm from that far. Yeah, I, had, I literally had the Striker 9. He had a swarm, and I was hitting all my shots, and he wasn't. Question recon. Copy. UAV is on station. Recon right, on so line. what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna push this dude because this guy is probably chilling somewhere. Heads up, an enemy squad marked you as a bounty target. Oh. Loadout drop headed your way. My am, am I tripping? There is a guy that's buy station up here, so I'm just gonna try to push him. Gas is closing in, relocating the safe zone. Moving. Right. Marks. Moving here. Guys below, so I'm gonna try to take advantage and kill him. Target marked. All right, so he is pushing me, so I like his, I like his aggression. I got lucky. I got real lucky. No cap. Let's be honest. I got lucky. Like, 
let's be, let's be let's just be completely real with ourselves here. He's got a DG fifty eight, which is an older meta. So, so again, I just we're just going to uh, kind of play a little smarter than usual. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably just gonna <clears throat> get this high ground here. That's my bounty. I try to switch positions a little bit. Oh, great audio. I didn't get the uh, noti noti noti. I'm just gonna take my time. Bounty contract here. Positive ID on the bounty target. All right, this is the same guy. This is obviously the same dude, so. This guy. Target spot. All right. All right I got a self res. I'm going to try to get high ground. And reload this thing while I'm at it. Yeah, we're good. I think that was my bounty. Okay, I just seen someone take the balloon, so this this is clearly not him. This is the exact same dude I just smacked in the head. Yeah, and he's on the second floor. Hold on. I was gonna make like a noise to get him to look at me, but I don't think that's a smart idea. I'm telling you, Chad, I'm not going to be playing like super aggressive like I should. The solo is just a whole different breed. If I'm playing like duos, absolutely I'm going to be aggressive. But solo, you just can't. You really can't. Because you're going to get sound horror like hell. All it is, you're just going to get sound horror like crazy. So there's no point. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch the skies. You got gas moving in. Not sure what his game plan. See, I got height advantage, right? So this dude should be peeking me, right? Just... Wait, heard a voice. I'm checking my surroundings. All right, so this guy is obviously not going to move, right? He's not going to move. You can't see inside unless you're on the other side, but yeah, this guy is just going to be, you know, sitting in the second floor window. So he's pretty much chilling. So there's nothing I can do about that. All right. So what I'm going to do, I am going to jump off. I'm going to try to get to this white building here. Perfect. See, he has a balcony. I don't. Contract's been pulled. Now he's not being hunted anymore. He can like kind of like move around a little bit, trying to feel like he's safe a little bit. So now I am going to play the waiting game. But I also want to check my surroundings, right? I want to check my surroundings. Make sure there's nobody else trying to look at me. See, now he jumps down. <laughs> yeah. Scared his ass, right? I'm playing for positioning more than aggressiveness. 
So caught him, caught him rotating, and he died for it. <laughs> Scared the hell out of him like he just peed himself. But that dude's that dude sound like he just took a mad shit. All right, but he had a redeploy though, so he can come back. So I don't think he was eliminated from the game just yet. All right, our zone, where are we going? So we're pretty much chilling here at cargo, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we're in a bad spot here. Balloon right here. Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. I figured, right? All right, so I'm gonna be checking my surroundings. So as of now, there's two loadies up top, right? So there's still at least two other players around. There's one of them right there, possibly. But it may look like he's going towards this building here, which doesn't have a lot of like a lot of cover. But I need to make sure. Ooh, buy station. I need to make sure. Oh, I didn't even know there was a buy station here. So now that I have a portable buy here, I have to be careful because everyone's going Enemies dropping into the AO. Is that our boy again. All right. Moving here. All right, now. Gas is inbound. He kind of made a mistake because he has to rotate to me in a little bit. Unless he goes to the buy station and buy weapons, which he probably should do because if he has money, that's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'm being held by somebody, I am going to uh, go buy my guns and I'm going to try to fight you. So for this guy here, who knows where he's at? What a coincidence, I'm taking a mad shit right now. Hey, my man. All right, so I don't want to be super tunnel vision on him, so I'm just going to be looking around. All right, you can tell he wants his guns back. All right, broke him. He knows, him. He knows I mean business. But his guns are just down the hill. Yeah, his guns are down the hill. So he doesn't have anything overpower or anything. Alright, All right, car's disabled, so he can't get away. It should block off the it should blow it up so I can at least see what I'm looking at. I gotta look that from my right. Alright, we'll deal with him in a minute. All right, so this guy's going to be holding me, so. All right, get a little higher, a little higher ground here. Kind of peek the same window. That was mid right, he's dead. All right, so now I'm getting stalked by, all right, this guy has an MTZ, so I'm obviously not going to win that unless I hit him in the face like that. All right, so that's two players down in only a matter of seconds. All right, so this guy's dead. What's more important? I have an armor box, so it doesn't matter. New safe zone located. Gulag is closed until further notice. What building? Cargo. See, position-wise, a lot of people are going to be trying to get in these cranes here, which I should be looking at. These crane buildings are going to be, like, huge, like, red hot. So I have to, like, be careful. And balloon's going to cut soon, so I need to think about this. I'm actually going to take the armor box and leave the And uh, drop the trophy, but bring this with me. Check my surroundings before I jump. All right, he's obviously dead. Gas One loadout left up the hill. So there's somebody, somebody's up the hill. All right, I'm gonna take this because again, I want roofs. I want a, a high a building to take over. Is this the right building? Probably not though. 
So I can't be here forever. All right. I hear crates below me, so it doesn't sound like anybody's below, right? See, doesn't see? Guys are up top. Down that guy. And he died for it. That's what I was saying, because cranes are going to be, like, huge. Cranes are going to be, like, the spot to be at. All right, this guy's peeking me, obviously, so he knows that I'm here. He's bunny hopping like he's he's bunny hopping like crazy. All right, balloon should be cut, though, so there's no way I can take that. Marking a new safe zone. I can go up there. I probably should. All right. We were just talking about cranes being a hot spot, right? So this could be a very, very dangerous spot to be at. dangerous spot, correct? I do have a precision, so I'm probably going to go ahead and check where I'm at. All right, so Should I third party that? Requesting close air, target marked. Copy that. One bolt. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. Impact, no hit. Alright, we're gonna work. I use this wall as cover. This is a great spot to be in because we got a lot of cover. As long as there's nobody got four that's out here with Stay me. Sharp. You're losing ground. Move it. So I'm gonna take advantage of this and try and uh hold this wall. Try to hold the wall here. There's only two other guys left, so we have to be a little careful. All right, so two guys left. Circle should probably pull towards me, if I'm not mistaken. All right, Interceptor has been. The only way to win, see that last guy that was fighting, Interceptor. You probably shouldn't win that. You're going you're gonna to get two taps. Luck, or oh, three taps. He hit me with two bullets, right? If one more shot would have hit me, I was dead meat, 100%. But he missed the last shot. So I was able to play it up as I'm watching him rotate towards me. He didn't have a wall to like hover over and hop the wall and kill me, right? So he had to like fight me in the street one on one as I hopped the barricade to fight him, which was probably not the smartest thing for me to do because I have an FFAR. He has an interceptor and the interceptor should beat you from that range. I don't think he was expecting me to, you know, chow him like that.